Hi guys. <clears throat> this video is on a topic that a lot of people don't talk about and it's depression. I'm going to tell you guys <clears throat> how I overcame depression. Depression is not something that ever really goes away for most people, but some people do completely get over it. I mean, there are days where you feel sad, but it's nothing like when you're depressed because when you're depressed, you're depressed for like maybe a whole week about a situation or maybe for even longer than that. But if you're sad about one situation, days could pass and you can just get over it and move on because you have that drive and motivation that there's a next day. When you're depressed, you're hopeless about things. You're just constantly in your head and you feel worthless ultimately. And that's basically what I want to talk to you guys about. And this is not a video that I'm hoping to get a lot of, you know, views or, you know, subscribers from. This is just my personal experience. And I hope I even help one person by talking about this. Because it's a very real situation that's going on. So, my depression started, I think, my junior year in high school. In high school, like, I was... I didn't have a lot of friends, but I did have like maybe a couple that I was really close to. And I was always a girl that I loved fashion. So I loved like trying different things and you know, I would make like dresses out of t-shirts and stuff and just crazy stuff. Like the stuff I wore in high school, I want to burn. Like I want to burn those pictures. Like I it was crazy. I had like different hair and stuff. I high school was interesting but yeah I was always that girl that had like you know different outfits and I never really had a lot of friends it didn't really bother me much because I was always to myself but my depression started when I started getting bullied but when I my depression started when I started getting bullied and I was bullied for reasons like I didn't understand like they would kids you know they would make fun of like how I dressed how I looked like talk about my forehead <clears throat> I remember my freshman year they they like made a rap about me and it was basically like you look like E.T. because your forehead is like out of this world you're like an alien you know like I was that was the first time in my life where I was kind of like I felt ugly I felt like nobody wanted you know nobody thought I was pretty you know here there's like I was there was like literally a circle of guys just rapping and laughing and everybody saw like I was so embarrassed like it's not something that I wish on anyone I mean I was so insecure about my head because I always thought it was big I mean now I embrace it I don't really care what people have to say about my forehead like I even shaved my head like you could see it more like I really don't it's not a big deal to me because you know that's the way I was born I can't really help that so yeah I was bullied about how I looked a lot and it just really started to get to me in high school and it started to get to me in high school to the point where I even almost got like jumped through that experience like it was just a traumatic time in my life and I remember in I think it was in my art class I talked to my art teacher because I love to draw and draw draw I love to draw so I would I just always loved art and I had a special connection with my art teacher so one day I decided to confide in her about everything that was going on and I told her I was kind of like you know I feel really really suicidal I just want to die I want to kill myself kind of thing and I thought we had a great conversation but she ended up telling telling the school and they had to intervene and call my mom and my mom found out about it so I had to be picked up from school and my mom took me to the doctor I didn't know what this doctor was like we sat there I got evaluated and then they started asking me questions like how long have you felt suicidal what happened to you and blah blah blah, blah. and that's when it clicked to me like this was not a normal doctor 
what I ended up finding out was that, that my mom admitted me to a mental hospital. It's, I think it was called Peachford. So, yeah, so I was admitted there. I wasn't really excited about it because I don't want to, I didn't want to be stuck in a hospital. I wanted to go home. Like, I thought, I didn't think it was such a big deal to say you wanted to kill yourself. Like, I never viewed it like that. But... I ended up staying at Peachford for like a week and I would not wish like that experience on my worst enemy because even though it taught me a lot about myself and you know I got a chance to experience you know and see how people yeah I would not I would not wish that experience on my worst enemy like the people in there or the kids in there like they were like my age and younger and some of them were so messed up some of them were schizophrenic some of them would have seizures and stuff and like literally scratch at themselves eating disorders anorexia bulimia some of them they were just really messed up they came from really bad homes and I felt like my situation was a lot l less than that so I was very confused why I was even there I felt like I didn't need to be there I think one of the biggest helps for me to get out of depression was I started I found my focus in life I found it I found what I wanted to do with my life and and it's not as easy as it sounds some people never really find out what their destiny is in life so they're just always in that I'm hopeless I'm worthless I don't know what I want to do it's and I feel like the biggest thing when you're depressed and how to get through it is to find purpose like I literally fell back in love with like fashion and clothing and makeup and I just fell in love with the artistry behind everything and I just knew that this was something I wanted to do like in the back of my mind even when I was depressed like this was this was gonna be it for me that was my future goal and yeah I started to buckle down and just look at my life differently and I literally I kid you not like I woke up one day and I said this is what I want to do with my life and I'm gonna try my hardest every single day to better myself and work towards that goal I tried to turn my you know situation around and I enrolled back in school and I just made goals for myself I remember I wrote a letter to myself and I said I wrote my letter to myself and I um, dated it for the future like a year from now I want this to happen so I wrote, I think, I can't remember what I wrote in it, but I basically said that a year from now, I want to do good in school, I want to start my YouTube channel, because YouTube was something I always wanted to do, and I want to make sure that I'm at a good place in my life, I'm in a stable relationship, I just, that's just the goals that I wanted for myself, so I decided to set those goals and just constantly have that reminder, so... I decided to fold the letter up and like tape it close and then date it for the date that it was supposed to be open and I put the letter behind well I think I'll just show you I just put the letter behind my um, picture on my wall that had like a motivational quote on it anyways I decided to put it there and every time I felt like I was like defeated about something I would look up at it and be like you can get through this like it's not the end of the world and there's something bigger that you're gonna do with your life you're gonna help people and you know because YouTube's helped you you're gonna help people with what with what you can I'm not trying to say I want to save the world I just want to know that one person or someone gets something from what I'm saying and yeah so I decided to 
make a conscious effort every time I felt sad about something with the help of my therapist, you know, with talking to my family, with like, it's just a united effort when you're trying to beat depression. You have to constantly be on it. Every time you think you're feeling sad about something, I confronted it. I made sure that I addressed the problem. I didn't want it to sit in my mind and feel defeated because a lot of the reason I was depressed is because I felt like I was out of control of situations. I let people be the reason why I was sad and upset and I decided to take ownership in that and I it was a constant effort to the point where I think it literally took me a year to you know instill those values in myself and I recently as of February picked up meditation I don't know how I came across it I think I was just looking up YouTube videos on like how to get motivated or how to get inspired because youtube really was one of the biggest tools in helping me i swear to god i look on youtube for everything like how to do this how to do hair how to do nails how to do, you know and i was like one day i was like how to be happy like i swear like i was like i don't know i just wanted because i was like let me use this avenue to help myself i mean yeah i can learn about how to be pretty and stuff but youtube helped me beat my depression as well so I looked up videos on like how to be happy and stuff and I remember I came across in the sidebar like meditation and I clicked on it and I started doing it like I started to like practice it and I really liked how I felt afterwards because when I was depressed I was had a lot of thoughts in my head and stuff and it would drive me crazy and it really taught me how to balance those thoughts and how to just watch those thoughts and not necessarily like <clears throat> completely erase those thoughts but it taught me how to it taught me how to accept what I can't change and it really connected me with the person that I am and I found who I am through meditation through my school experience as well because I took a public speaking class that I feel like changed me in so many different ways because I used to be terrified to speak in front of people now you can't shut me up so that's a disclaimer once I get started I can't stop but yeah I mean it was just a mixture of family and friends and school and finding a purpose and having a goal having a reason to wake up in the morning i know this sounds so cliche but you got to find a reason that you want to wake up and i felt like my reason that i wanted to wake up is because my end because of my end goal one day i want to own my own boutique i want to be a brand i want to help people and that's my goal some people want to you know help people by being a nurse or something like that but you have to find what you want to do in the end you always have to have that goal in mind so yeah I think that was a mixture I think it was a mixture of YouTube meditation friends family and just constantly not putting my feelings aside talking to my therapist and finding my purpose and you know meditation doesn't work for everyone I'm not trying to say it will but I recommend it to people who want to be successful I mean it's it's not gonna hurt you to sit in thoughts with your set <laughs> I joined YouTube and I started making YouTube videos was because I hope to inspire someone just in the same way I was inspired by many people I've watched on here and I hope you know they kept me going and I hope that I can reach out to at least one person because it only takes one person I know I can't change the world but I hope that I spark at least someone out there that could go beyond what I'm saying and yeah I hope that my videos like help someone by someone posting it reblogging it you know I want to bring an awareness to to <clears throat> I want to bring an awareness to depression that a lot of people don't talk about and yeah, I'm not doing this for, you know, for people to subscribe and, you know, a whole bunch of views. I'm doing this because it's something that I went through and it's my journey and 
I would hope that the subscribers that I do get are subscribers that want to be on this journey with me and people who are going through or they know someone who's going through and they're inspired. I just want to inspire people.